I shouldn't stay here. But I thought you had nowhere else to go. Well, I don't. But anywhere would be better than here. What? I walked around all damn day, and what good did that do? I mean, there's gotta be tons of jobs out there which pay more than this. There's just gotta be. Yeah, probably. Well, if you think so too, then let's go find one of those. Oh, sure. Got any leads? Know anybody who can give us a reference? I'm on a resume. Oh, hey, I know. We could find something at Hello Work. Man, easier said than done. Listen up, everyone! Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys! Why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to Hello Work? Eh? Sounds like a big fat no! But you're all perfectly healthy! I've seen some of you build shit! I've seen some of you cook! You have skills! So why aren't you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get up and do it! Come on! You really want to keep living like this just to avoid taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs. Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you- Shut the fuck up! Do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? Nah, you said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on, you still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. Most of us didn't do anything wrong. Then why? For some, all they did was co-sign a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families, who abandoned them when they couldn't pay the bills. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be, it's somewhere you end up. Do you know what that's like? To end up that broken? <sighs> And some of us have families who are out there looking for us. Parents and kids, hoping we'll come back. And for as much as some of us would love to go back, we can't. Not when we're still so broken. And you think you can fix all that with just a quick trip to hello work? They get back on the grid, then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up. Did you ever think of that? You think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a living, man. But we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... sorry. You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point about having a criminal record. We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. But you said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? <sighs> it doesn't matter. But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. <laughs> Enough to try, anyway. So, I'll come with you to hello work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step out of the gutter. By the way, you've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real? Well, I guess a dragon fish is pretty cool too. Right? I'm into it. Someday, I want to earn my place. And then my dragonfish is gonna shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. 
Yeah. Sorry, little dragonfish. Mm. Hmm? There'd be so many people. Young ones, too. How old are you? 42. What about you? 41, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. We got something better. Passion. Oh, passion, sure. I'm sure that you are ready to work. You know what, these other losers? <sighs> Matsuo-san. I can smell the liquor on you. To be considered for a placement being sober is mandatory. Please come back when you're ready. Bitch. Like I'll ever come here again. Next, please. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready and able. You left your current residence blank. Because I don't have one right now. But I'm committed to working. And I don't drink, by the way. Well, normally you need an address, but... I think we can make an exception. So, I'm hired? Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but... Uh, I don't have an address for that either, actually. Have you always lived on the streets? I'd like to refer you to our support center, then. What's that? It's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills. But, wait. I don't need all that stuff. I just need a job. Sorry, but that's our policy for people with a background like yours. Please, ma'am! I'll work really hard! I'm sorry. That's our policy, sir. Next, please! Wait, hold on a minute. I need to... Hey, out of the way! So, did your passion win them over? Shut up. They didn't like me either. For a hobo, when God closes a door, he closes a window while he's at it. <laughs> well, fellas, we tried, right? Any other losers want to go and get a drink? Drown our sorrows? We're not losers. We're gonna try something else. Uh, oh, don't fool yourself. I can tell you're homeless like me. This was such a waste of time. I could have been doing something productive, like fishing. Don't get salty yet. We can figure this out. Hey. Either of you guys looking for work? Yeah. Tried at the desk. They don't give jobs to the homeless. Tough break. So I assume you're still looking, right? Yep. I think we gotta try to look less unemployable. You don't look so unemployable to me. <laughs> Heck, you're wearing a suit. <laughs> a filthy one. But hey, thanks for noticing. You're a man of taste. So you guys interested in doing some work tonight? Huh? I'm not the one hiring. But there's this bar on the other side of the Sakura River. It's called the Harbor Light. The mama there needs a job done by a couple of guys tonight. What's the job? Bartending? I don't know what it is, but I know it pays 5,000 yen. Pretty good money, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, it is. Want to check it out, Kasuga? Sure. Hey, thanks, old man. Sir, that's not following standard procedure. Hmm? Don't know what you're talking about. I saw you. That's a violation, you know. Oh, but, you know, not everything is so black and white. I'm just filling a gap in the market. <sighs> you are a loose cannon, Director. Excuse me. We were told about this joint by an old guy hanging around Hello Work. Huh? Hello Work? Oh yeah, that was my doing. Told Kambe over there to recruit a couple of guards. Hamako-san, don't do things like that without asking me. I'm not made of money. 5,000 yen for a man to risk his life is a hell of a deal. I'm just amazed Kambe found two guys who took it. Hey, wait a second. 
We never said anything about risking our lives. What is this job exactly? I'll explain everything. Come over here, boys. You see all these restaurants on the river? They're all bars, just like ours. We've all been getting hit by thieves for decades now. Burglars? Nope. These thieves don't steal physical items or money. They steal electricity. What? How do they do that? Look over there at those wires. Those aren't public electric lines. The thieves strung those up ages ago. Do you know who they are? Wait, I've heard about this. Shit, it's the Komi Jewel. Uh, what's the Komi Jewel again? They're one of the Ejin Three, the Korean Mafia. Mm. And didn't you say how they got their name earlier? Yeah, it's not their official name. It's the neighborhood where they're headquartered. Well, it's still kind of hard to say, if you ask me, but I guess I see how they got it. Mm-hmm. They've been jacking our electricity for such a long time. I'm sick of them getting away with it. Each month it costs the bars here tens of thousands of yen. Each and every bar is forced to pick up the tab, and they don't reimburse us. Here's a solution. Why not just call the police? I mean, it seems obvious. Tell the cops exactly who's robbing you. They'd leap at the chance to take down a crime faction. I'm sure she has a good reason for not calling it in. Am I right? Of course. Whatever the reason, this kind of stuff is why we have cops. The police wouldn't touch Komichua with a ten-foot pole. The area is too dangerous, even for them. I mean, how dangerous are we really talking? <laughs> you don't come back alive is how we're talking. <laughs> you gotta be exaggerating. I wish I was. Everyone who gets close to their HQ disappears. Everybody. Yakuza, police, doesn't matter. Not even the other Ejin gangs are willing to go there now. Place is a graveyard. Okay, well, do you know anyone in the Komi Jewel? Of course not. Thank goodness. Well, then we'll have to find one of them while he's away from HQ. They gotta leave sometime. No, you can't tell them apart from civilians. They don't exactly wear freaking pins on their lapels like you, Yakuza. There's no way to recognize them. Out of the Ejin Three, they're the most secretive by far. Okay, if there are no other options, then it's back to the original idea. We just go to their HQ. Again, that's suicide. You want another idea? I got one. Cut your power, Grams. I can't do that, and I shouldn't have to. People's livelihoods are at stake. Come on, there's gotta be something we can do. Ichiban, let's forget this. Seriously, we don't need money that bad. Hey, crazy idea, but why not just cut the damn cord? Long as you know which one to cut, I mean. Don't be an idiot. He's not. I had the exact same idea. I cut their line yesterday. What? You got a screw loose, lady? I, I didn't like the idea. I tried to stop her. Yeah, I felt bad afterwards. Mama was crying, worrying about how they would retaliate. Oh, we've been arguing about doing it for so long. Yesterday, I strolled on up and yanked it out of there. Just left it lying in the dirt. <laughs> I guess I've hit that age where you stop caring. That's not an excuse. What happens now? Well, that's what I hired you guys to figure out. You can't be serious. Okay, so you cut the cord yesterday. Anything happened since then? When Mama showed up to open the bar this morning, this was on the floor. Someone threw it through the window. Fix the cable by tonight. So they want you to connect it again. What'll happen if you just... don't? You think their message might be an empty threat? The thing is, if it's not, we won't know they're attacking until the last moment. Because we don't know what they look like. Plus, no way is it an empty threat. Look, lady. I get how your bar must be very important to you, and you don't want to close it. But this is insane. Oh, now this isn't even my bar. I'm just the bar fly who buzzes around here the most. I wanted guards because I'm worried about Mama here. What? 
so you don't even have real skin in the game? You should start minding your own business, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Good. Who needs a coward as a guard anyway? Get on out of here if you're gonna cry about it. Fine. Wish I could say it's been nice. Kasuga, let's go. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. Please forgive us. Hey, what are you gonna do for protection? I'll get their power cable hooked back up. Then if they're still angry, I'll offer them money not to bother us. I can take out a loan. What? That's ridiculous. We can't let them do this to you. You be quiet. It's your fault in the first place. Stop. She's right. We can't let them get away with this. What now? Paying off criminals just makes the whole world a worse place. <sighs> the job still pays 5,000 yen? Yeah. I knew that's all Mama could afford. I don't have more. It's fine. I'm in. Hold on, man. It's too risky. Beggars can't be choosers, you said. And honestly, I prefer a job where I get to help somebody out. See? Now that's the right attitude. I could tell you were a good guy. Unlike some people. <sighs> you old battle axe. Are you sure about this? Yeah. I always mean what I say. We'll take the job. Wait a damn minute. We? You're roping me into this? Look, if you're not in, don't let the door hit you on the way out. This brave man has a job to do. Ugh. Do you know how obnoxious you are? Fine, I'll do it. Is everybody happy now? Good, so it's settled. There you go, Mama. I got you two guards. Now how about rustling up a drink for me? <laughs>